So you must have had hundreds of occasions like this. I've had dozens and dozens mm -hmm. where someone has said, I'm thinking I should go on The Voice or mm -hmm. Australian Idol or one of those things. What do you reckon? Mm. What, what advice do you give to people that are considering going on one of these shows? Yeah, well, there, there are people who are clearly not mature enough to handle it is the best way to kind of look at it. What they really ought to do with these shows is have an aptitude test more than anything else. Your ability to sing, fine. Your ability to look good on camera, fine. But do you have the emotional intelligence or the emotional fortitude to be able to handle what comes, and mind you, what comes even if you win? Cause yeah. Because that's, ah. that's a shock more than anything. Well, so, no, one's, no one's done anything from The Voice that's won it. No, and I, I suspect, and these are only grizzlings and grumblings I hear from people involved there, if they don't get, quote unquote, if they, they don't get a star from that soon, that that format will probably go. But it'll just mm. emerge in something else. Yeah, um, yeah. So the, I will say to people, I'll prepare you for that, but you have to also be prepared. And I put them through a mock audition in this room which is one nice. of which is one of the most confronting things that some of those people will ever have. Yeah. Because I've seen I've been in the room. I've been in those auditions and to be asked something random about, "Oh, by the way, what's your star sign?" and stuff like that. You go, "Huh? What's that got to do with anything?" But mm. but to be told point blank in some circumstances, "Well, look, you're an original artist. You'll never sing one of your songs on this show. Mm. You'll never play the guitar on the show." Mm. Um, you'll sing what we give you and you'll mm. basically sing it the way that we tell you to sing it. That's a big, big drop for somebody who's already been, quote unquote, who's already established themselves or at least has their their swagger going, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. For a lot of others, mate, it's a bit like if you've ever seen the musical Oliver, they're there going, please, sir, may I have some more? You know, can you please make mm. me a star? Uh, the interesting thing is, and you did ask a question about the amount of people, everybody's well-intentioned uncle, auntie, sister, and best friend says, oh, Michael, you, you can should, sing. Yeah. Have, you, have, you been, have you been told? Someone, oh, no, only, only about 2,000 times, yeah. Right. See, the good thing about being old like me is I don't fit any of the age categories, but, uh, but somebody did oh, ask me we're recently. We're not that far apart. Jeez. Oh, well, that's very kind of you, but... Somebody did ask me recently, said, if you were 19, knowing what you know now, would you go on it? I went, no, categorically. Yeah. I, I wouldn't go near it. 100%. Would not go near it. It's interesting because the relationship I have, I'm very, very close friends with some of the coaches on those shows, mm. like very close. Mm. Mm. And of course, you know, I won't, I won't speak out of school about that. Privately, some of those people, they don't like it either. Um, and mm. which would make you wonder, well, why are they there? Well, that's that's a question to ask them in all fairness. But yeah. I do – I can tell you that there's a couple of the coaches on those shows who have been extraordinarily kind to some of those contestants uh, and have privately, away from the show, done something to help them when it's been warranted. Um, right. Of course, they they don't want that advertised, and so you know we, we we can't go into that any further. But yeah, what's intriguing is that the uh, seemingly by going on a show like that, you are somehow validated as a singer, which of course is preposterous, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. I know of agents that I work with some of their acts; they will instruct their their act the, 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 to go on one of those shows simply so they can, they can advertise them as seen on mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. and they can get a, mm -hmm. they can get a, a bigger fee that's a, a, you know when when people ask me that, and they say should i go on you know one of these shows mm. generally the voice in the last kind of 10 years yeah um you know i always say if you're an artist like if you're a songwriter mm. uh or you want to have an original music career the last thing you should do is go on it. Yeah, if you want to be a singer and go out and earn some decent money on the mm. corporate scene, yep. your fee will go up from a grand a show to 10 grand a show for about 
three or four years after that show. Yeah. That's the only advantage of going on that show is you can ask more for corporates. Mm -hmm. I reckon that's about it. That's about it. And uh, you're right about the, um, whether it's that even that long a period of time, if if you might get three or four years out of it. One of the things I do say to folks that are coming is, look, if you go on the show and it doesn't go the way you'd like it to, there's actually an upside. And they go, what can that possibly be? I go, in six months, no one's going to remember you. And mm. I don't say that rudely because, mm. see, they're on to the next lot. Yeah. They're, and yeah. they're certainly not going to bring up, like they used to do in one of those formats, they used to bring the person back who won the previous year and go, hey, have a look what Wendy has done yeah. in the last 12 months. Yeah. They don't do that at all now. No. Because – no. What what people are not knowing is some of those artists refuse to come back. Yeah, they won't right. they won't go on. They just they just refuse. Some of them sit the contract out. Um yeah, wow. and also insofar as you're saying the person's corporate fee will go up, that will all so I'll rephrase it, a percentage of that will go to the organization that produces the show. Yeah. That's wow. well documented. No I'm not speaking yeah. out of school with that. Yeah. Um so their argument will be, well, you wouldn't have got that if not for us. Mm. There you go. You know, <clears throat> I mean, I've I've worked with several top ten place getters mm-hmm. in The Voice, and what really shits me is we make we record their tracks and make great songs, mm. and The Voice or the production company or the, who they never share it. They never say, "Hey, look what our." Now, if they were legitimately Mm -hmm. interested in people's careers, they would be saying, this person Mm. came second on The Voice six years ago. Here's their brand new album. Check it out. They don't. Anyway, it's it's actually... I I wasn't really uh, thinking about talking about this before we started. It's actually pissing me off to think about it. Isn't that good? That's what we want. um, We have people out there to be pissed off. That's it. Well, you know, I, I think I can be pissed off on their behalf. Nice. 